a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land to my top. Maybe. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for a soft. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. I don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait, was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need... Where are you going? <sighs> want to climb it with me? I really want to, but uh, someone should keep watch for assault forces. Good call. <laughs> Up and away. Up there? Huh? So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Shiva's axe. And behind the one number two. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress. Tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map. With the next private mark on the map for you. Last but not least, the Bodor. And another old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Whoa! Guess I should have looked for a call button before climbing up. Was it worth a climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. All right. And we were talking about... You were talking about Asav. Oh, right. His guards may be idiots, but Asav is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How do you get tangled up with Asav anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh... Do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks. Not enough alcohol in the world. Right, you're the military expert. What's Asav's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our tracks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asav? 
besides lose the beard, hang back. Let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised the sword's not doing the same thing. Maybe it's expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly then. Men might be around. Interesting circular motif. Like <coughs> this. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Matches the symbol in the tower. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. The gate secured? Not yet. Let's keep this quiet. Waiting on Cobra 8. Copy that. These wheels, how many are there? Several. What's up? There's one on the roof too, over there. What do they do? I don't know, but leave them alone until the boss arrives. That's a lot of them. You all right? I'm fine. Apart from working this for a promising. reckless treasure hunter. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. And how about... <coughs> That's two.
Here's another one. Three down. Found you. Only one left. Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Mm, big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Right here. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Hoysalar jigsaw puzzle? Of course, I'm making a trident. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Now there's being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. Did you hear that? You feel that? Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learnt a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I'd better make a buck or two. Well, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Mm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with an axe on the mountain there, and that fort marked with a bow in the lake bed. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. 
I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. <laughs> Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him Maurice. You're no fun. this time. You handed yourself on. All things considered. All things considered. That's high praise coming from you. It is. Mountains in Lake Bay. Yes and yes. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about it. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I do not want to look a gift horse in the mouth. Especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side, oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always prefer the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. I think Asov's men have that side too. This should do the trick. 
Look up there. Parashurama's bow. Spotted this on the tower, too. So, Parashurama. Parashurama? Parashurama. Who was he again? Okay. A sixth avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. Right. Still wrapping my head around it all. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Now where do we go? Up. We go up. Nice to be out of that shithole finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. Hey, who's there? It's a boss! You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. That's it. We're clear. Probably alerted the others. Can't be helped. Come on. Won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked up front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We'd walk right off a cliff. You do have a sense of humor. Would have preferred a head to start over the salt. See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. Follow me! They've made us. We've got this. Cut them off. Shoot them. Clear? Good. Good to be clear. Press on. Just what I was going to say. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. 
Medic! Oh, shit! Whoa! Well, you made it across at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Beg your pardon? Doing all right? Fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. Wouldn't dream of it. Okay, guess this isn't the way in. Oh, there you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Oh, nearly there. Wait, I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. I'm guessing it'll be a bow this time. Good guess. Oh, this one's a bit trickier. Sharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Whoa, whoa. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halibadoo. That's... pretty funny. Last stop. The fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is open now. One by the mountain left. In. <sighs> Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. 
He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are? Let men like Hassar fight over it. It's none of our concern. Parting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Saab? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. Unspoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list, too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Have other things to attend to first. Over there, in that cliff wall. See that archway? Looks intact. Ugh. Shit, the site's compromised. Once more, with gusto. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? Shiva. Who's the god of destruction, right? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. So not blowing things up? Definitely not. In reverse. You're welcome. Okay. In we go. <laughs> ah. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoy Salah comes from. Hoy meaning strike in their language. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. There. Correction. Our climbing gear. I think I have one. Of course, there's not a food luxury. Well, 
trade them. I'm sure there's a man here with floppy boots. I'm smaller than most men. What? Okay, slightly deaf, but I'm good. Good. <coughs> Let's keep moving. <coughs> oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. <coughs> that statue moved. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh shit, that you move again. <gasps> Careful. Don't like the looks of this. Look out! What? Ooh, that was close! All right. I think that did it. Come on over. Coming. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues, with two different symbols now. A star and rings. They're all voice of our sons, but I like your description better. Ah! Oh, near miss there! Okay, so far so good. Make an axe. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair. Both the middle and inside pieces seem to move the outside ring. Nice to see you, Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. My dignity. Here we go. There'd be water.
And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want us off to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. <clears throat> Let's head back to the car. <laughs> Gotta love a shortcut. <clears throat> Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. <clears throat> If you want to look anywhere else out there, now's the time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too right. Not many rebels haven't left this spot. Yeah. We've lost them. She who fights and drives away lives to fight another day. What? Pick it back up? What were you saying about working with women? Um, yeah. So anyway, not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Ugh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross. There we go. Coming. Right behind you. Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. Hoy Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Maybe it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. <laughs> <laughs>
You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halibadu. The last known resting place, the task of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. What? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Mm. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? Yeah. <laughs> 